Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have an exciting video about mascara. We have a new mascara coming out from L'Oreal and we are gonna be putting it to the test today against a $69 combo of mascara products from Lancome. So basically we're doing a $11.96 mascara versus a $69 mascara. So we will see who will win and I wanna see this new formula from L'Oreal because they are great at mascara. Let's see if this new mascara from L'Oreal can be the top mascara of 2018. I'll be applying both mascaras on camera so you will get to see all of that. You'll get to see my thoughts and we'll see how the final application looks and we'll see who wins. If you end up liking this video hit that like button it helps me out so much and it's really easy and you should do it. Also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would love it and it'll keep you up to date with my videos. And without further ado let's get right into this video. So first of all the L'Oreal Voluminous X Fiber Mascara is new, and I purchased this one from Walmart. It was $11.96 Canadian. So I'm just gonna unbox this real quick. I got the shade Blackest Black. It says that it's a fiber mascara. The primer in it is black, as opposed to white, which traditionally lash primers are. It says it creates a smooth and even black base to prepare lashes for fibers. And it then says the fiber infused mascara has the maximum fiber concentration for up to seven times more volume, extreme lash look. It also said that this is smudge free, removes easily with soap and water. It's ophthalmologist analogy tested, and it says it's suitable for sensitive eyes and um, step one, which is the primer, has 0.22 fluid ounces, and then the step two, which is the mascara, is uh, 0.21 fluid ounces, so very similar. Let's open one first. Very interesting wand here. It's kind of, it's dense, almost an hourglass shape to it. And then on the other side is the mascara wand. It has a little bit of a curved bristle. I can see the fibers hanging off. So guys, you already know we're gonna be testing out this new L'Oreal Voluminous X Fiber Mascara. I figured I should test it against something else. Originally, I was gonna test it against my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara looks a little sad and used, so it's kind of dried out. I don't think it would be a fair comparison. And also, this new mascara has a primer with it, so I figured I should put it up against the primer. What I do have that is brand new is I have this Lancome Duo. So it's the Lancome Primer and then the Grandiose Extreme Mascara. So in total with these two lash products, we're looking at a $69 Canadian value. So very expensive compared to my $11.96. So I've applied all my other makeup, obviously. I have my full face done. I actually wore my Maybelline Superstay foundation. It is a little bit dark, so I did have to like bronze myself up a little bit, but I do like the foundation. It has a beautiful finish. I've done all my eye makeup, my brows, everything like that. All I'm missing really is mascara. So let's go and apply. All right, so we're zoomed in nice and close. I will just do my normal lash routine. First things first, I like to curl my eyelashes. I'm using my MAC Lash Curl and I don't hold it for too long. So first, let's do the Lancome eye. I'm gonna go in with the Lancome primer to start, just going on my eye here. Just applying it all over the eyelashes from the inner corner to the outer corner. And because it is white, it is easy to see where you've applied it, so. I do like that about it. I normally just wait one second just to let it dry for a little bit. Then I'll go in with a Lancome mascara. So it has like a little bit of a curved brush here. With the white primer, you just really have to make sure that you get all of the primer covered with the mascara. If not, you're gonna have some weird white parts of your lash. So it's getting a little bit clumpy on this outer edge. So I just have my Benefit spoolie that came in their Brow Bonanza set and I'm just running that through my lashes, especially these last couple because it's getting a little clumpy from even my liking. Let's go in with a little bit more. So it's not building up too well. I think that's pretty much all the mascara I can add. All right, so we're done the Lancome eye. Let's go to the L'Oreal eye now. We're gonna do step one first, obviously, with the primer. And we're just gonna apply that to our lashes. So again, this primer is black, so kind of throws me off a little bit because I can't really see where I've applied it. So I like how the primer just kind of held the curl for the lashes. It really turned my lashes up, which I like, and held the curl that we put in there. So now I'm going in with step two, the fibers, and let's see how this applies. It's definitely like not your typical fiber mascara because normally by now I'd already have like chunks of fibers. I just dipped it back in just in case it was getting a little dry. And just adding more. 
So as you can see, I have a little bit of length and volume. It's definitely not clumpy like the Lancome side, but it's not really as voluminous either. I can't find anywhere online if you're supposed to use step one again, but because I didn't really get the length and volume that I'm looking for, I'm gonna go back in with step one and see if we can build this up even more. So it's getting a little clumpy right there. Just gonna wiggle my wand back and forth. Okay, let's go in with step two of the fibers again. And this is a curved brush. It makes it nice to um, apply. I'm just gonna really concentrate this on the tips of my lashes to get a little bit more length. And wiggling it down at the base if I want to add volume. I'm gonna dip it back into the fibers just to see if I can build up any more. I'm just gonna run a spoolie through. So I would definitely say this is an equal amount of both products. I do think that the Lancome side looks a little bit more voluminous, but also a little bit clumpy. This side looks a little bit thinner, but still has the same amount of length. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes as well. Let's go to the L'Oreal side now and do the lower lash line. So that was super messy under the eye. I'm gonna clean that up with a tissue. I don't know if it's really the mascara's fault per se. The wand is a little bulky, so it, it's hard to maneuver. So this is the mascara applied to both eyes. Again, this is the Lancome side with the Grandiose Extreme Mascara, and then this is the L'Oreal side with the Voluminous X Fiber Mascara. I think this is obviously super clumpy, but I do like how much the primer adds as far as volume. I prefer it over this black primer. The black primer I don't think adds too much. It, it did seem to put my lashes up a bit. Once I added the mascara, it doesn't seem that curled to me. It was hard to build up the fibers more than a certain length. I, I They definitely built up, but I don't think they built up like a ton. But we'll do a check-in in a little bit and then I'll come back with my Final, final thoughts. Hey guys, so we're back. Worn this mascara around, I've kind of looked in all the mirrors that I have in my house and just kind of taking a look at it and how it compares to mascaras that I've used in the past. So what I'll say is obviously the Lancome mascara is very pricey. I would never really pay that much for mascara. I don't think it's ever worth it. Typically, I always use a drugstore mascara unless I'm gifted from my mother um, any other type of mascara and that was a gift from her, but yeah, I just, it, it's okay. It's obviously very clumpy and very like voluminizing, which I like. It did actually add really good length, so it is an awesome mascara. I'll probably just use it uh, in combination with other mascaras, probably mixing it with my L'Oreal Telescopic. If you want something for length, use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It is amazing. It takes a little bit of patience because you really build it up and it is a little bit of a thinner formula, so I like it when it kind of like it's probably a week or two into its use and it kind of thickens up a little bit, but it's an amazing mascara for length. So if you're looking for something just to give you length, then I highly recommend the L'Oreal Telescopic. And then if you're looking for something from L'Oreal that's voluminous, I would say the L'Oreal Lash Paradise definitely wins in volume. The more I have worn this, the more that this is growing on me, I think that I could mix this with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for the length and then do the primer and then do the fibers and I think I would get the look that I was looking for. I think I'll be able to use this and I'll keep you updated if it works well with my L'Oreal Telescopic. Overall, I'm not mad that I purchased it. It's $11.96. L'Oreal always makes great mascaras. Do I think it's the best one they've ever come out with? No. It's a tie for first place for me for L'Oreal mascaras. I would say that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara are both up there as far as my favorite formulas. One for length being the telescopic and one for volume being the Lash Paradise. And I wear them together so I can't really separate those two. So I guess this one would come in third place. It's still a fiber mascara though so it does get a little bit messy. Definitely the first fiber mascara that seems to act more like a normal mascara. So this side being $11.96, this side being $69 Canadian. Canadian, I definitely think you should go with the L'Oreal side. L'Oreal just makes great mascaras and the telescopic and the Lash Paradise being some of my favorites. This might work into my favorites, but I will definitely keep you posted because it's not there yet. So that's all for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned a little something about this new mascara. If you can, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. If you want to, I'll have my social media handles up here, but then I'll have links down below that you can just click and follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you had a good time and I will see you very soon in my next video.